Hey guys, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Samikama here and welcome back to Hive Chest Roots on my channel guys. This is going to be episode number 7 I believe, I'm not really too sure. But anyway, in today's episode guys I'm going to be showing you, in my opinion, one of the best routes on SG8. You know it's debatable, uh, but it's still quite early on in this map. So hopefully you should learn something in this route. If it did teach you anything at all, then please do give it a smacking like down below, that'd be awesome. Let's go for 20 likes and yeah, enjoy the chest route. Alright guys, so we are in the map Survival Games 8 right here on the Hive. So firstly guys, you're going to be starting here at spawn of course. And you want to open your F3 menu and you want to go east or basically kind of in the direction of that horse. Uh, so kind of where the semicircle is not like built around. You just want to head down that way uh, after you've obviously got all your chests from the middle. So you can go and get all your loot and stuff. And then obviously you want to be heading east over here. Uh, towards this kind of like building type thing over here now sometimes there will be a chest in here so you can stop up there to get like a weapon or something to fight people off your route uh, but then you want to head over here up this staircase and you want to head up this sort of spiraling staircase up here and uh, this is going to take you to the top of this little building so you want to loop back around up here and in here there's some there's either a tier one there tier one on there or a tier one there so there's there's a possibility of being like at the most i think two tier ones in here so obviously these are both tier ones uh, and then you want to head out you want to once you're up here you want to turn left and then left again out here and across this bridge <coughs> over here you'll get more use to this obviously as you play it more <coughs> and there will sometimes be a tier one down here so if you do want to head down there then that that's where it is uh, but if not, then you want to carry down on this path. Uh, there's another tier one here. They sort of, they're sort of just tier ones, you know, lining the path. Uh, and then you want to sort of just go straight on, follow the edge of the building around here, and until you get to these vines right here. Uh, obviously, there's tier ones around here and stuff. But you want to head up this vine, and you want to stop off halfway and go on here. Uh, now you want to walk around the edge of here being careful and some people think you have to jump on there But you can actually reach around to the chest just there and you can open it from here That is a tier 2 right there guys so you get a better look at it That is a tier 2 uh, and then you just want to jump back down and you want to sort of go back the way you came So just follow the edge of the map around here's another tier 1 right there And I'm not going to point out all the tier 1's but you guys can see them for yourself All of these are tier 1's there's no tier 2's on this part of the route um, but you just want to keep following the edge of the map around and what I uh, tend to find guys is there's a lot of tier 1's on the edge of maps like uh, as soon as you go for, like follow the edge of the map around there's always loads of tier 1's there so I mean if you don't know a uh, route on the map and it's like new then um, it's always a good idea to like uh, you know just follow the edge of the map around there's another 2 tier 2's right there um, so once you follow the edge of the map around, you just want to head down into this cave, still going in the same pattern, there's another tier 1 just there, and another tier 1 down here, so by now, you're going to be really looted guys, uh, another tier 1 right there, and uh, you just want to keep following the edge of the map around, this is sort of a long route, uh, you know, uh, this tier 2 at the end here, it might be looted by the time, uh, by the time you get there, but I'm just going to show you guys the whole route anyway. Uh, so you just want to keep heading around the edge of the map guys, it's quite a long journey, you're basically going uh, right across the other side of the map here, uh, and there's going to be tons of tier 1's, you should be like at least full chain by now if not like a few iron armor pieces. Uh, so once you get to the edge of the map right here, um, next to the water, you just want to slowly climb down here, try not to take as uh, obviously too much full damage. And then you want to jump down onto this blue structure just here and you want to carry on going down here and you will go down here and you will find a shipwreck. Now you can actually go inside this ship around the side here or inside here and uh, basically in here you'll find the second tier 2 on the route. This is the last tier 2 on the route as well guys so um yeah, you just want to get inside this sort of shipwreck. This there, that is a tier 2, so hopefully that should give you some iron armor and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's about the route, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this. Hopefully it helped you and stuff. Uh, you know, if it did, remember to leave a like and maybe subscribe for some more chest routes in the future. Uh, I thought this would be good to do a route on this map just because it's kind of new. And uh, I don't think too many people know routes on it, so uh, hopefully it did help. Give it a smacking like if it did, and we'll see you in the next Chess Roots.